Greetings. Like I've mentioned before, perseverance is one of the most important values in order to achieve success. It is what we could consider a master virtue. Now, knowing this alone is very powerful and very important. Unfortunately, it is not quite enough. We have to know the finer points of perseverance. And perseverance, to me, raises a lot of important questions. Michael Hyatt, the former CEO, now become author, put it this way, you have to go past an inflection point to achieve success. And he says most people give up before they reach that inflection point where the point of no return. What I've noticed is very interesting is it changes in different endeavors. Some people have to try a hundred times, some people have to try a thousand times. For example, the Beatles, we've heard the story, they have tried to go to every major record label and they were turned down by them all until finally they were ultimately chosen. Where Edison, he tried, what, a thousand times before he found the light bulb? I don't know how many major record labels there were in the 60s, but I don't think there was a thousand. So Edison may have had to try more times, and certainly the number of years he worked at it was probably more than they did. But it's not to diminish what they did, it's just to show that in different endeavors, the different amount of times and effort it can take. I don't know if there's an exact formula or how that works exactly. Jim Rohn in his excellent book, The Season of Life, says that there's our individual solutions to life's problems. Now, I also noticed he recognized there are also universal laws that never change. It's a paradox, but it's very true because the individual solution is your individual approach to the general law of perseverance, and that's how it works. You also have to realize things like you may have to give up on certain things. I realized I've always romanticized perseverance, but I realized you sometimes you have to give up certain means because they're not getting you to the ultimate goal. Persevere with the ends. You give up on certain means that don't work. Jim Rohn also pointed out in his book, The Seasons of Life, that there's the soil, the seed, and the effort of the planting. And he said, even if you have the greatest effort and you're in the wrong field, is not going to get you right. So you need to change the seed and the soil until you ultimately get there. And I love Jim Rohn's commentary on the parable of the sower because it inspires me and it shows me that you have to get through all these seeds that you plant that fall apart for some reason or another but then when you keep going you finally get to the good ones and they give you 30, 60, 90 as he points out and I hope to persevere until I get to the end. I hope I'm not going to give up. I don't feel like I'm going to give up despite all the failures that I've gotten like Zig Ziglar said. I hope to see you at the top. Now, how